The story begins with a junior high school boy named Shinanagawa Hiroshi. Hiroshi has a chatty personality, talks a lot and likes to read Japan comics or manga about delinquents. On that day, Hiroshi was buying the latest comic. But unfortunately on the way home, Hiroshi accidentally bumped into a school thug. He also got bullied by them. As a result, the comic was taken away. His self-esteem fell even more when Hiroshi was asked to apologize while grovel, and because of fear, Hiroshi had to do it all. Two students from his school also saw that action. They both laughed at Hiroshi. From this incident, Hiroshi was embarrassed and decided to transfer to another school. He also asked his sister, Yuka, for permission to transfer him to a new school. Hiroshi's main goal is not to be underestimated again and will become a punk at his new school. In the end, Hiroshi also changed schools. He changed his look like a thug. Hiroshi wanted on his first day of school, many students were scared to see his look and style. He also told the students in his class how terrible he was, but Hiroshi was warned to be careful with the striking hair like that. That's because even though it's a public school, there are four bullies in his school who are the most feared. They were led by a man named Iguchi Tatsuya. Everyone knows him and being targeted by other schools because of his toughness. Hearing the story, Hiroshi was initially not afraid and wanted to be part of them. But it was told that before Hiroshi, there was a new student who only attended school for three days because he couldn't stand Tatsuya's behavior. This immediately made Hiroshi scared and wanted to go home. But suddenly Hiroshi was visited by Tatsuya's group. They took Hiroshi to a place where Tatsuya was. Tatsuya's three friends named Yamazaki Hideki, or Wonko, Moriki Takashi, and also Anjo Yutaka, or Lupin. At first, Hiroshi only thought that he would only be introduced to Tatsuya as a welcome ceremony for new student like him. But in fact, Hiroshi was challenged to a fight by Tatsuya. Hiroshi was scared because he actually never fought, but remembering when he was bullied, Hiroshi also accepted the offer to fight, so as not to be ridiculed by another student at school. Hiroshi was also laughed at when he admitted that he was a punk. Hiroshi also pulled out a sneaky trick during the fight. He kicked Tatsuya in the crotch. Instead of losing, it made Tatsuya even angrier. And in the end, Hiroshi also got a lot of punches from Tatsuya. When he was helpless and battered, Hiroshi still got up and challenged Tatsuya to another fight. That's what makes them all interested in Hiroshi. Tatsuya, who was interested in Hiroshi, invited him to eat ramen. But suddenly, there was a detective who came to arrest them. After that, they ran away and left Hiroshi, who was helpless. Tatsuya also threatened Hiroshi, so that Hiroshi would not report his actions to the police. In the end, Hiroshi was arrested and taken to the police station. His sister and her boyfriend named Hideo came to take responsibility for the problems that occurred to Hiroshi. Fortunately, his brother can guarantee, so Hiroshi can be released. His brother also scolded Hiroshi for causing trouble on his first day of school. Hideo also gave advice to Hiroshi not to play around in his youth. That's because fighting will not guarantee a decent life in the future. All of that Hideo did because he had experienced it himself. So, this Hideo was also a delinquent who liked to fight. Now he only works as a construction worker. In the past, Hideo used to be the leader of the Northern High School, and his enemy named Katajiri from the Western High School. They always fought, but always ended in a draw. The detective also told Hideo that Katajiri is now a Yakuza in Osaka City. After returning from the police station, Hiroshi was picked up by Tatsuya. They invited Hiroshi to eat together. Hiroshi was also happy because he got a welcome from Tatsuya's gang. They immediately went to Tatsuya's house to celebrate Hiroshi's welcome. But it turned out that Tatsuya's house was surrounded by students from Southern High School, where they wanted revenge because one of the students from that school had been beaten by Tatsuya. He was the bald student who was beaten up by Tatsuya earlier this afternoon. But who would have thought the father of Tatsuya, named Tatsuo, was even more ferocious than Tatsuya? Even the tattoos on his body symbolized that he was a Yakuza. Because he was disturbed by the commotion caused by the punks, it made his father Tatsuya angry. 
they were surprised and scared because of that Tatsuya's father was like a Yakuza. But it was too late. Tatsuya immediately attacked them. So did his father. The fight was finally unavoidable. With the ferocity of the son and father, it made the gangsters from Southern High School helpless. Until suddenly, the police came. Tatsuya and the gang could escape. Meanwhile, his father had to be arrested by the police. The next day, as usual, Tatsuya and the gang gathered and hung out at a game center. It was their headquarters. Hiroshi questioned Tatsuya about his father being a Yakuza, but this was denied, where even though his father had many tattoos, his father was not a Yakuza. Then Lupin explained about the school in the Kama City, where Tatsuya and the gang were one of the punks who had the most enemies. Their high school was in the north, while their enemies were in the west, south, and east, and yesterday's punk student was from Eastern High School. Tatsuya was considered crazy because of his thirst for fights. He had fought in every high school. That was why Tatsuya had so many enemies. One by one, they introduced themselves. The first was Lupin. He was not good at fighting, but had a clever brain and earned the nickname as the thief. Then Wonko. He got the nickname Wonko because every fight, he likes to bite his opponent's ear. Then there is Moriki. His fighting style likes to hit the opponent's head using a bottle. Until not long after, Teru or Ishikawa Terumi and his group came. They are students from Western High School. Teru's arrival was to challenge Tatsuya battle. The game center owner also had a fighting arena, so they were welcome to fight there. Teru was Tatsuya's rival, where for six fights, the result was a draw. Three wins and three losses. In this fight, it would determine who was the strongest between the two of them. Hiroshi tried to calm them down from fighting. With his talkative style, Hiroshi continued to tweeting, but it was ignored by them. Even Tatsuya thinks Hiroshi is a geeky person who is not to be worshipped. Tatsuya didn't even consider Hiroshi as his friend. That's because Tatsuya is embarrassed to have a loser partner. This made Hiroshi hurt because he was considered a coward. And in the end, the battle between Teru and Tatsuya began. Although at the beginning they attacked each other, but in this match, it was won by Tatsuya. Teru did not accept his defeat and would invite Tatsuya to fight again in another time. Teru's men also not accepted if they went home with the defeat. They wanted to finish it themselves by beating up all of Tatsuya's gang. There was an argument between them because some wanted to fight and some just obeyed orders from Teru. In the end, everyone obeyed Teru's orders and they left from there. The victory made them happy, but not with Hiroshi, who still thought about Tatsuya's words that Hiroshi was not considered a friend by Tatsuya. Even in his class, Hiroshi was also made aware by his friend that Tatsuya would not easily accept transfer students as his friends. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Tatsuya also didn't want to invite Hiroshi anymore, even though Lupin was happy because his team had increased number by Hiroshi Kane. From Teru's previous defeat, Ikuchi, who defected a little to Teru, tried to get his group to take revenge on Tatsuya's gang. Not accepting that they were underestimated by the Tatsuya gang, Ikuchi was going to finish it himself without having to wait for orders from Teru. But Teru's right-hand man named Akichi Jo will also go to Tatsuya first. Jo wants to defeat them all with his own hands in order to get more attention from Teru. Elsewhere, Hiroshi asked Hideo for advice about his life at school. Hideo said that people who are good at fighting are not necessarily useful when they start enter the workforce because they never fought and act as students. That's what happened to Hideo right now. Hideo gave Hiroshi a solution that actually what made Hiroshi moody was not because he was geeky in fighting, but because he was always afraid of being ridiculed by his friends. Therefore, Hideo told Hiroshi to stay cool, even though he was not good at fighting. It turned out that it succeeded in making Hiroshi excited and boosted again. On the street, Hiroshi met Tatsuya's father again, but suddenly Ikuchi and his group also arrived. Ikuchi intends to kidnap Hiroshi, because Hiroshi is the weakest member of Tatsuya's gang. They also mocked Hiroshi as an only additional member. Until suddenly Tatsuya's father defended Hiroshi and chased them all away. 
When Tatsuya's father wanted to beat them up, suddenly Detective Aramaki came to break it up. The debate between the two adults ensued again, where it turned out that Tatsuya's father was an alumnus of Northern High School, while Detective Aramaki was an alumnus of Western High School. So the dispute between the two high schools has indeed happened a long time ago, and they both used to be rivals when they were in high school. From that debate, Hiroshi ran away. Likewise with the Aikuchi gang. Hiroshi went to Tatsuya's headquarters, but they weren't there. Until suddenly Joe came to challenge Tatsuya to a fight. Tatsuya wasn't there. Hiroshi is also emotionally provoked because he is considered a nerd by Joe. Hiroshi wanted to show his coolness to everyone, even though Hiroshi was actually afraid when Joe challenged him. Tatsuya also came with his group, and because he didn't want to be considered a nerd, Hiroshi ventured to act cool in front of them. Hiroshi, with his talkative ability, taught them all not to look down on others, especially him. And spontaneously, Hiroshi challenged Joe to a fight to replace Tatsuya. In the end, Hiroshi was reunited with Joe on the wrestling field. Despite his confidence, Hiroshi still couldn't touch Joe. Hiroshi received several karate kicks from Joe, but Hiroshi provoked emotions from Joe that the kick did not work against him. A sneaky trick was done by Hiroshi, where Lupin threw a ball at Joe's head, and that allows Hiroshi to attack Joe. With this help, Hiroshi could defeat Joe. From here, they again accepted Hiroshi into their gang. On the other hand, Joe shared his defeat with Hiroshi to his gang, and it turns out that Ikuchi has called their alumni named Ijima. Ijima will take over the steps to destroy Northern High School. Ijima thinks Teru is too soft and squeezy to handle the problem. Ijima ordered them to hunt down Northern High School, even though it had nothing to do and have connections with Tatsue's group. As usual, Hiroshi acted cool and told of his experience of defeating students from other high schools. Until suddenly, the Akuchi came back to find Hiroshi's whereabouts. They will also kidnap girls, but Hiroshi has a plan where he sees Tatsuya's father again. Therefore, Hiroshi tried to provoke Tatsuya's father so that he would get angry and expel the Akuchi group. The failure made Ijima angry. Teru and Joe again decided to solve the problem with a duel. But Ijima refused and still told Ikuchi to kidnap innocent students. Ikuchi also kidnapped a cute girl who was with Hiroshi named Suzuki Misuzu. The next day, Hiroshi complained to Tatsuida that Western High School intended to kidnap students from Northern High School. This made them curious who was behind it all, because they know that Taru will not do this. They were sure that it was all under Ikuchi's control without any interference from Teru, until suddenly Teru came to see them. At first, they thought Teru would take revenge on Hiroshi for defeating Joe. But in fact, Teru wanted to tell them that Aikuchi and his group were in action to attack all the students from Northern High School. There is even an intention to kidnap Suzuki. Teru also said that Aikuchi was against his will, that because Aikuchi is allied with an alumni named Ijima, Hearing that, Hiroshi suddenly wanted to go straight to save Suzuki. Hiroshi asked Tatsuya to help Suzuki immediately, but all Tatsuya had in mind was fighting and fighting. That made Hiroshi angry. Hiroshi thought Tatsuya was not thinking about Suzuki's safety and was more concerned with fighting. The atmosphere was getting intense when Hiroshi made fun of Tatsuya, who was a punk but couldn't save the people around him. Hiroshi even said it was better to be a coward than to be a punk who couldn't save and didn't care about others. Hiroshi knew that Suzuki was tutoring at Koei. Therefore, Hiroshi went alone to save Suzuki. Fortunately, Hiroshi arrived on time, where that Aikuchi had already discovered Suzuki's location and intended to kidnap her. For the sake of the girl he likes, Hiroshi dares to save Suzuki from the Ikuchi group. Hiroshi attacked by throwing the bicycle that was there, while telling Suzuki and her friend to get out of there and then call the police. Hiroshi modeled the action after Tatsuya's father. But unfortunately, Hiroshi must still get an attack from the Ikuchi group. In the end, Hiroshi is now the hostage of the Ikuchi group. They used Hiroshi to bait Tatsuya. But Hiroshi emphasized that he was no longer a friend of Tatsuya. 
until on the way they met Tatsuya and the gang who were waiting for the arrival of Ikuchi. It turns out that Tatsuya already has a plan to save Suzuki, but in his own way. From here, Hiroshi was very happy because of that Tatsuya still cared about the people around him, and in the end, a fight ensued. Even though they were outnumbered, they could all beat the Ikuchi group one by one. Meanwhile, Hiroshi faced directly with Ikuchi. At first, Hiroshi was quite overwhelmed, but with a little help from Tatsuya, allowed him to turn things around with a crotch kick. On the other hand, Ijima had apparently been watching their fight. Ijima was very disappointed with Ikuchi for being defeated so easily. Therefore, Ijima hired someone named Masato to finish off Tatsuya's group. The next day, Teru and Jo were kidnapped by Ikuchi. They were both tortured for betraying their school, which had told Ijima's plan to Hiroshi and his gang. Ikuchi also had the heart to break Teru's finger, because he refused to apologize. But in the end, Teru also grovels to apologize, because she doesn't want Jo to become an outlet for the frustration of Ikuchi and Ijima. Masato came there too. He was initially quite shocked to see his classmate, Teru battered. Ijima asked Masato to beat him up. Masato refused because he was his classmate. But immediately Masato changed his mind when Ijima offered money if he wanted to finish Teru. Masato also beat Teru. On the other hand, Hiroshi as usual showed off his act of bravery to Suzuki. Until suddenly Hiroshi was frightened again when two South Chofu high school students approached them. The two students named Kato Kojiro and Akati Toru. They were looking for Tatsuya's whereabouts to challenge him to a fight, but Hiroshi and Lupin pretended not to know him because they were scared. Akaji and Kato also asked Teru about the location of Tatsuya, until they got into an argument because Teru didn't want to tell him. Kato and Akaji also easily defeated Teru and Jo. A bald student from Eastern High School knew where Tatsuya was, they immediately left from there. When everything was calm, Tatsuya, Wanko, and Moriki got a surprise attack from Kado and Akeji. They both beat Tatsuya mercilessly using baseball bats. In this condition, Tatsuya was battered and had to accept his defeat. It turned out that Tatsuya's gang had been slandered by the bald student, where the baldy said that Tatsuya's gang would destroy the demon army from Chofu City. That was the reason why Kato and Akegi, who was one of the members, immediately intervened to find Tatsuya's location. Because the conditions were like this and Tatsuya had also received an attack, therefore Tatsuya declared that he would completely destroy the Chofu Demon Army. That was his revenge for being attacked. Akaji and Kato had challenged back to a fight, but because of the approaching police, they left there. Akaji also asked Tatsuya to come to the Chofu if he wanted revenge. Lupin explained that most of the people in Chofu were thugs. They, after graduating from school, usually joined the demon army and became thugs. Meanwhile, Akaji and Kado were the rulers of the school and were the future leaders of the demon army. Tatsuya didn't flinch a bit. Tatsuya didn't accept being underestimated. Therefore, Tatsuya would go to Chofu to carry out the attack. No matter his body was battered, Tatsuya would still go as soon as possible. As usual, Hiroshi tried to calm them down. Hiroshi tried to think about the plan first, and in the end, they decided to leave. Until suddenly, Joe came with the information that he and Teru were also attacked by Akaji and Kato. Joe said that Teru was injured because he broke his finger. Therefore, Joe wanted to go with Tatsuya for revenge. Coincidentally, Joe also knows where the headquarters of the demon army is. They borrowed Tatsuya's father's car to go to Shofu, and with suddenly, the attack was carried out by Tatsuya's gang to the demon army headquarters. They fearlessly attacked all members of the demon army. A fight ensued between the two groups. However, the fight was finally stopped due to the arrival of the police. Tatsuya's gang could escape, while Kato and Akagi were arrested by the police. The next day, Hiroshi had a meal with Suzuki and her friend. Suzuki said that Tatsuya used to be bullied in elementary school. From there, Tatsuya learned martial arts. That's why Tatsuya is now a very strong person in fighting. 
In addition, Suzuki was also Tatsuya's ex-girlfriend. Apparently, they had dated for three months, because Tatsuya had saved Suzuki from the thugs. From the incident of the attack on the demon cage, now Tatsuya was always targeted by Akaji and Kato. The two of them always came to Tatsuya to challenge him to a fight. Hiroshi, as usual, felt fear. However, when he found out that Akeji and Kato did not bring troops, he went ahead and took out all his tweeting. Hiroshi forbade them to make fight on Christmas Day, but all that talk was ignored. Until Moriki offers a dual fight between Kato and Tatsuya, and Akaji is faced with Hiroshi, that feeling pretentious. Meanwhile, Moriki himself will fight the baldy one. They all gathered in a place. The first fight was between Moriki and the bald one, where Moriki could finish it with just one punch. Then, the second fight between Tatsuya and Kato. This fight was quite fierce, until it was won by Kato, and the last was Akaji against Hiroshi. With trembling legs, Hiroshi will fight against Akagi. As expected, Hiroshi could not deliver his punch to Akaji, and Hiroshi must accept his defeat because it is not comparable. Day after day now they always fought and challenged each other. Until on Christmas Eve, Hiroshi was fed up with their endless fighting. Therefore, Hiroshi offered to eat together, because according to him, it's more exciting. And apparently, Akeji and Kado accepted the offer. In the end, the fight that night did not continue. They went to Hiroshi's house to eat together. They were quite surprised, because Akaji and Kado, although they were a badly thugs, but they were both very polite. While on the other hand, Ikuchi again arrested students from Northern High School. But this time, Ikuchi was more strict than before. Ikuchi emphasized that all students at Northern High School would be destroyed, even though they were not Tatsui's friends, because it was a shared responsibility. Ijima asked Masato to finish them all for 1,000 yen per head. Meanwhile, if the result defeats Tatsuya, it will get a fee of 10,000 yen. Ikuchi questioned why Masato was so obsessed with money. Ikuchai thought that Masato was poor, but in fact, Masato was rich. So when he was in elementary school, Masato was bullied very cruelly, where his body was painted with pencils. That's what gave him a lot of scars on his body. Masato was always being extorted for 10,000 yen every day, and if they didn't give it from him, they would cut his body and torture him. Until junior high school, Masato also learned kickboxing and began to be good at fighting. Somewhere, a Yakuza named Katajiri was being punished by his boss. Katajiri was punished for attacking someone who was dealing drugs in his area. Katajiri did not know that they were related to his boss's organization. Therefore, from Katajiri's actions, his boss had to apologize to the boss, Kiruki, who worked with them. Katajiri's boss intends to fire Katajiri from his members, and usually out of the Yakuza, his finger must be cut off. But Katajiri has decided for himself that he will leave the Yakuza and cut off his own finger. Katajiri intends to return to his place of origin, namely Kome. His first meeting, Katajiri met Hideo, who was his rival in high school. Hideo was surprised that Katajiri returned to Koma. Katajiri explained that he had left the Yakuza. At that meeting, Katariji immediately challenged Hideo to a fight. But Hideo refused because he felt he was old and didn't need to fight anymore. Katajiri continued to provoke Hideo's emotions by mocking his girlfriend. A fight almost broke out, but fortunately, Detective Aramaki came to stop it. Katajiri apparently went straight to see Ijima at the Western High School. Katajiri was also quite surprised that there were hostages from Northern High School there. Everyone knelt before Katajiri. Katajiri also told Ijima not to interfere in high school affairs, but in fact, Katajiri was also the one who would join them. Katajiri has a plan where he gives the hostages a cigarette and takes a picture of them. From the photo, Katajiri threatens to spread it to the school if it does not pay it with money. They were quite scared because if the photo spread out, they might not be able to take the exam. Katajiri was also not afraid if they reported it to the police, as it would be useless. Katajiri was also going to attack Tatsuya's gang to solve the Northern High School problem. However, Joe suddenly came to meet them to revenge and teach them a lesson. 
But unfortunately, Joe doesn't know who Katajuri is. And finally, Joe had to be mercilessly beaten by Katajuri. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Tatsuya was sick. His body was weak and helpless due to fever. At that time, Tatsuya wanted to go to the store to buy cigarettes. Even though his father had forbidden him, Tatsuya still insisted on going out. Until Masato accidentally passed in front of Tatsuya's house. A coincidence for Masato, where he was indeed looking for Tatsuya. In the end, Masato beat up Tatsuya, who was sick and on his under conditions. Tatsuya couldn't attack because his body was still weak, and Tatsuya had to fall with a battered face. While elsewhere, Katajuri also attacked Hiroshi and the others. Katajuri beat them all using brass knuckles in his hands. Simply by himself, Katajuri could defeat Hiroshi and the others. Even though they got up several times, they couldn't beat Katajuri who was only alone. Katajuri asked Hiroshi to apologize while groveling. It reminded him of his time at school before as a loser. The sense of disappointment in himself returned as Hiroshi remained a loser but there was no other choice. Hiroshi still grovels so that his friends are released, but in fact, Katajuri still took the student cards and wallets of the Northern High School students. Katajuri will return them if they bring 20,000 yen to him. Meihara threatened to report him to the police, but Katajuri is not afraid. In fact, Katajuri would hunt his down if the police released him. Tatsuya, who was lying in front of his house, was found by his father. His father immediately took him to the hospital. Kanajiri asked Ijima and Akuchi to collect many wallets and student cards from Northern High School. They have to show up the next day at a tunnel to pay 20,000 yen. Katajuri will actually return them if they pay, but Katajuri will collect their cell phone and home numbers so they can still be blackmailed by him next time. Meanwhile at school, Hiroshi is shunned by his classmates, especially Meihara. Meihara is furious with Hiroshi, because this is all his fault. Other students were affected by Hiroshi and the Tatsuya gang's stupid actions. Meihara said punks can only make trouble. Even Meihara also made fun of Hiroshi as a loser, punk who pretended to be a hero, but all he could do was only grovel. Hiroshi was angry because it was only a fuss over 20,000 yen. But suddenly Hiroshi felt as if he was slapped when Meihara said that he was from an ordinary family who had to work hard to earn money to pay for school needs. Meihara also told Hiroshi that Hiroshi should not transfer to his school. Moriki and the others were also upset that the Northern High School students were now being targeted for extortion. They also searched for the location of Tatsuya, who never showed up. Tatsuya himself also just returned from the hospital. His hand was broken, and he also had a fever. Hiroshi also came to Tatsuya to tell him everything that had happened without paying attention to Tatsuya's condition. So Tatsuya would still take revenge on Masato and would solve the problem about Northern High School. Tatsuya intended to go alone. The hunting for the students of Northern High School continued by the Akuchi. Suzuki tried to stop him and would report him to the police. At first, Akuchi intended to kidnap Suzuki, but Moriki arrived. Moriki asked to take him to Katajuri. Moriki wanted revenge with the fight. Moriki told Suzuki to tell all this to Tatsuya. Meanwhile, Joe has been hospitalized with a broken leg from his fight with Katajuri. Teru wanted revenge and intended to find the location of Katajuri. But suddenly Tatsuya came. He asked Teru where Masato was. Teru didn't want to tell her as this was her revenge, but in the end, it was the two of them who went there together. Akaji and Kado were also looking for Tatsuya's whereabouts, but they didn't find Tatsuya at his house. Instead, they met Masato and Ijima who were looking for Tatsuya, who had been lying on the ground earlier. Masato wanted to show Ijima that Tatsuya was defeated. Akaji and Kado didn't believe that Tatsuya had been defeated by Masato. Then a fight broke out between them. But unfortunately, the police came to disperse that fighting. Moriki and the others have also arrived at the tunnel to meet Katajuri. Meanwhile, Hiroshi himself was gathering at the game center along with Hideo and his sister. Hiroshi vented about his problems at school. Hideo also told him who Katajuri was. 
So Katajiri is a broken home child, where his father died stabbed by his mother because of frequent domestic violence. Until his mother also ended her own life after killing Katajiri's father. Katajiri witnessed the death of both his parents. He has never laughed since that incident. That's why Katajiri became a delinquent and decided to become a Yakuza, because his childhood life was very bleak. Akaji and Kado, who were there also said that Tatsuya was not at home, and maybe Tatsuya was looking for Masato's whereabouts. Hiroshi was hesitant to take revenge, as he was not sure he would be able to defeat them. Therefore, Hiroshi wants to finish by paying to redeem the student card and wallet taken by Katajiri's gang. Hiroshi borrowed money from Hideo, but the owner of the game center forbade the plan, because if Hiroshi redeemed it, then there was a possibility that Katajiri would take advantage of it. Then Suzuki suddenly came and told him that Moriki, Wanko, and Lupin were going to Katajiri's place. They want to solve their school problems. Akeji and Kato also wanted to go there, because they wanted to continue the fight with Masato. Until suddenly, Joe also came. With a broken leg, Joe told his that Teru and Tatsuya were going to Katajiri's place. And in the end, there was no other choice. Hiroshi was forced to go with them to catch up with Moriki. Hiroshi has a plan, where he borrows body armor protector from the owner of the game center to battle against Katajiri. In the tunnel, Moriki asks Ikuchi to return all the wallets and student cards that were taken by them. There was an argument, because Ikuchi didn't want to return it. But there is a condition if Ikuchi wants to hand them over, Moriki must take all the blows punched from Ikuchi's gang. If Moriki does not fall, then he will return everything. Moriki agreed to the condition. Moriki was confident that he could take all the punches. One by one, 16 people hit Moriki. Unfortunately, on the last blow, Moriki had to fall, and finally he couldn't take his wallet and student card. But Lupin and Wonko still had a plan, where they could steal and immediately ran away. Unfortunately, Lupin was caught by Katajiri. The plan failed, until suddenly Teru and Tatsuya came to help their friends. Not only that, Hiroshi also came to help with the attack. Hiroshi with his armor is also confident to fight. Hiroshi also gave fever medicine and pain relievers left by Tatsuya's father, and in the end, the fight ensued. Until suddenly, Hiroshi stopped the fight. Hiroshi said that Tatsuya was suffering from an infectious disease, and if anyone touches him, then that person will be infected. It was just a trick from Hiroshi, but in the end they ignored it, and the fight ensued again. Hiroshi with his armor did not flinch at all. In fact, he can beat several people easily without getting hurt, and finally Hiroshi was reunited with Katajiri and Tatsuya with Masato. Meanwhile, the others had been defeated, leaving only Masato and Katajiri. Tatsuya's weak condition made him unable to on fire against Masato, but he still forced himself. Hiroshi, meanwhile, could only dodge Katajiri's attacks to make Katajiri exhausted. Until suddenly, Detective Aramaki came to arrest them all, but Hideo tried to stop him. Hideo asked Aramaki to let them solve their own problems, because if not, this problem will continue to recur. Aramaki initially did not allow it, but at the request of Hiroshi's sister and Hideo, Aramaki finally allowed it, with the condition, if it was too dangerous, then he would stop it himself. Tatsuya still did not give up. He exerted all his strength, even though his condition was getting worse. Tatsuya even used his broken right hand to attack Masato. Meanwhile, Hiroshi also could subdue Katajiri after making Katajiri exhausted from attacking him. With uncontrollable emotions, Tatsuya continued to beat Masato mercilessly. Aramaki had wanted to stop him, but Moriki stopped him first. They thought the fight was over. But it turned out that Masato got up and took off his shirt. Here everyone was surprised to see many wounds and scar on Masato's body. Katajiri also got up after remembering his past. The fight started again. Hiroshi also took off his armor. Likewise with Katajiri, who removed his brass knuckles. In the end of the day, Tatsuya could defeat Masato. Meanwhile, Katajiri even defeated Hiroshi. But Katajiri didn't want to continue the fight, and he turned himself into the police to be arrested. In the end, Tatsuya's gang won this battle, 
They also celebrated their victory by eating together. Hiroshi has also returned the wallet and student card that Katajiri had taken away. Meihara, who was previously annoyed with Hiroshi, now he began to admire, because Hiroshi was willing to fight in order to get back the students' wallets and student cards. Teru and Jo also joined to eat together. Teru tells them that his men have returned to his hands. They also regretted following Ikuchi. Even Ikuchi is also ignorant, suddenly approaching Teru again to accept him as a member again. Meanwhile, Katajiri, who was acquitted of the charges, decided to leave Komai. And Katajiri will go to Shinjuku because he got a job offer from his friend. Detective Aramaki is happy that Katajiri is not being a Yakuza anymore and hopes Katajiri can work diligently. Until suddenly a Keiji arrived. He reported that he had left the demon army. They didn't believe it at first because leaving the demon army was impossible, but Akaji got a relief from the group leader. Unfortunately, Kato has been kidnapped by the lady of the demon army named Kizaki. Akaji was asked to bring Tatsui's gang before him if he wanted Kato to be free. And in the end, they all prepared to save Kato. As usual, Hiroshi refused and asked his friends to disagree. But in fact, they supported Hiroshi to join the fight. And then the series was end.